Hello, lovely people of Panto Archive. Thank you for uh, submitting these questions. I will do my best to answer them for you. Uh, my name's Kai Owen, and um, I've been lucky enough to be uh, be a part of about 10 Pantos now over the past few years. Um, and this year, 2020, is going to be my um, sixth year in Stoke um, at the Regent Theatre. I can't believe it's going ahead. But uh, thanks to the uh, generosity of the National Lottery and Michael Harrison and Kudos, uh, I'll be at the Regent Theatre of Stoke this year uh, doing a socially distanced panto, uh, Robinson Crusoe with the brilliant Johnny Wilkes and Christian Patterson. So uh, I'm very grateful. So um, I'll have a go answering these questions for you. Question one, um, what was my first experience of panto? Uh, when I was a little boy, my dad's work um, would take all the kids of all the workers there to see a panto every Christmas, uh, obviously. Um, we'd go on a big coach and we would go from a little town in North Wales and we'd either go to Liverpool, to the Liverpool Empire, or Stockport, to the old Stockport Davenport Theatre. Um, and I think my first one was at the Liverpool Empire and it was Ken Dodd. So what uh, a first one to see. Um, Ken Dodd and all his tickling sticks were for sale. Then we went to the Liverpool Empire the following year and I remember it was Cilla Black in Puss in Boots, which was amazing. And then we went to the Stockport Davenport Theatre uh, for a few years running then and I saw all the cast of Neighbours. Neighbours was huge then in the 90s. And I remember seeing Madge and Harold, um, Max Boyce did um, Jack and the Beanstalk there with Wolf from the Gladiators. He was in it um, and Ian Botham was in it as well. So yeah, I've, I've, I've been going to Panto since since I was a, a little child, really, and um, they stuck with me. Um, and uh, God, yeah, I can't believe I'm doing it myself now. But uh, amazing, amazing memories. Uh, living or dead, if I could appear in pantomime with anyone else, who would it be? Um, I'd have to say Elvis or Freddie Mercury. Uh, <laughs> but no, um, yeah, why not? Um, oh, Freddie, you'd love it, wouldn't he? Um, oh God, the old classics. I love the old classics. I mean... Uh, I would have loved to have been in it with Ken Dodd. Imagine how long that would have lasted. Um, and his jokes. Uh, I like the old classics, the old proper show business entertainers, the legends, you know, who knew how to work and all these proper gag men. That's who I like to have worked with, I think, and uh, experienced that. Um, proper panto royalty, you know, something like Daniel LaRue, um, Les Dawson, giving his day, and that would have been amazing as well. So, yeah, um, having a chance to work alongside them, to see them work would be um, would be very special. Uh, is there a panto role I would love to play? You know what? Um, not off the top of my head, because I'm loving it. I've played uh, baddies a lot for um, Kudos and uh, for Johnny and Christian in Stoke. Um, but last year I played King Cyril in Sleeping Beauty and it was more of a comedy role and I loved it so much. Um, I'm just very grateful to be working, very grateful to be doing it. I love it. I love the energy. I love the buzz of it. My my, my son loves it. It's such a, an experience for him to see watching from the wings and uh, the whole feel is, is brilliant. So um, there's not really a part that I'd like to have a go at. Um, I think I think we'd like to do Jack in the Beanstalk. I think um, that's the one I think we all want to do up at Stoke, and I think that'd be a, a, a belter. So I'd like to maybe play Flesh Creep in in Jack and the Beanstalk. Yeah, that'd be a good one. I've done Ugly Sister with Christian, and um, I love that. And I've done Abenazer as well, King Rat. Uh, I'm Captain Jack this year in Robinson Crusoe, but maybe Flesh Creep in Jack and the Beanstalk. That'd be a belter. I think we'd uh, we'd smash that up in Stoke. Do I have a favourite theatre? Um, for Panto, without a doubt, it's the Regent Theatre Stoke-on-Trent. Um, I love the place. I love Hanley. I love Stoke-on-Trent and the surrounding areas. It's a big family there. It's a family feel. Um, led by Johnny Wilkes and Christian Patterson. And it has the best best crew, best marketing department. The whole theatre is just just comes alive for Christmas and for the people of Stoke. They are so loyal, so supportive, so vocal. Um, and um, it really is a special time. So in terms of Panto, without a doubt, it's um, it's it's my favourite theatre um, to work in. I'm very lucky at uh, the Regent Theatre Stoke. Um, if I had to pick a favourite theatre, it would be Theatre Clue in North Wales. And number five, do I feel that over the years, Panto 
has changed or adapted to an ever-changing world? Um, I don't really know, really. I think panto is an old, brilliant, beautiful, magnificent British tradition and long may continue. And of course, we can adapt it. Um, and of course, we can um, go with the times. But panto is what it is. And um, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Take care. Thank you.